Hi everyone, Miss Steph here. Hi friends. I'm really excited I'm able to come on video today and do an activity with you. Um, today we're going to be making oobleck. Um, we do it a lot at our school and the kids love it. It's super fun, super messy, and there's a there's a, lots of ways that you can manipulate it. Um, fun different fine motor science activities. Um, so we're going to start out with our ingredients. It's very simple, only two ingredients, and that's cornstarch and water. And we're going to do two cups of cornstarch today. So it's two per one. So two cups of cornstarch per one cup of water. So and I've got my half a cup today to use. The kids love measuring our ingredients out at school all the time. I get them to help and scoop and they love it. So you need four of these. One, two, Ooh, it's getting messy, <laughs> three, already have my water measured out eight ounces um, to make it extra fun too you could always add color to the water to make your oobleck a, a, a color um, I love blue so I'm using blue and the kids at school love blue too my friends Put in your color Ooh. <laughs> looks really cool. It's pretty neat to watch it mix together like that. I'm just going to take this side of my spoon and stir it in. And then you just add the water to the cornstarch. And mix. And I... You can use a spoon, you can use your fingers a lot of times. I use my fingers, I just feel like I get a better mix that way. And it's fun, it's fun to get all messy sometimes. I know my friends love it. Now I stir it in a bowl, but I'll usually pour it in some sort of a um, pan or, or a tray. So the kids can spread it out easier and it's just fun to do. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what it looks like right here. Mixing it up. it to my pan that I have over here. Any kind of pan you have or tray just to kind of get it spread out. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, friends. Whoa, gooey. Pour it in my pan. see it can explore it to where you depending on how your hands are moving and how it's sitting on your hands and the movement of it all it can be a solid or a liquid it's very interesting the texture of it and something else that you can do you can add things to it just for texture for more fine motor practice this is my bones. Not staying up, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so I thought it would be fun to add some Cheerios. Just for texture and fine motor, they can pick it out, count them, even throw some math in there, have them count some Cheerios out, how many are in the oobleck. It's always fun just to give it a different feel. And another fun way to to use it, but I guess to freeze it if you put it in um, 
ice cube trays and freeze them it becomes a whole different way of, of sensory for them and it's cold but then it starts to melt and it's soft and it's not gooey because it's frozen so it's really it's, it's interesting it's very there's a lot of options for oobook and sensory play and um i hope you guys have enjoy making your own oobook maybe finding these cheerios in there counting them out our friends love counting in my room our class and um enjoy your time have a great day thank you